day, um, I'm really just, I mean, it's, it's kind of just a hang, you know, really. Um, just hanging out with my man Robert. You know, he's been a friend of mine for, you know, for a little while. We've done a couple shows. You know, just, you know, we connected. And, I mean, he's like my big brother now. So, um, we're just doing a couple joints for my record. Um, you know, I'm really honored to have him, you know, to have him on the record. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be really, really, really good. The name of this song is called How Would She Know? I and mean, it's actually a song that was done by a friend of mine named Kevin Turrentine about maybe seven years ago. Today we did a, a little bit of the session for uh, Brandon's album and uh, I just recorded some keys on uh, two of his tracks. And uh, I mean really we're just kicking it. And <laughs> having some drinks, kicking it, telling stories. But that's how we do it in the studio, you know, you always, the music is natural so, you know what I mean, we don't have to think that hard about it. If he doesn't think that hard about it, you just do it. Like, like everybody doesn't get it. Like I was, I was talking to Robert earlier and saying that, like as a producer, some artists you just don't produce. Like I'm sure when you take photos or do video, some people you don't have to tell them how to move. You just capture, you know, you just capture what they do. You know, it's, you know, sometimes you just don't, you know, you don't produce people. You just capture what they, you know, what they naturally are. Yeah. It was a really cool night, really good, good hang. And Brandon's just a really good dude. You know, I met Brandon, um, First time in 2010 at the Grammy Awards, and then I met him again last year at one of my shows. He like came and the sound was horrible at the show, and he like went up and just pulled the sound man to the side and he fixed the sound for me. <laughs> so uh, at that point, I was always calling him the savior. <laughs> I'd be like, "Yo, you're the savior, you're the savior." So we've just been cool ever since, you know. And he's just a good dude, you know, good spirit. So. Um, that's another reason why I just, I, I'm, I'm doing this project too with him, because he's just a good person. You know, you're a person first, musician second. You know, a person is who you are. You know, a musician is what you do. You do music. I've been playing Keith for about 27 years. Um, started in church, um, playing by ear. Then later on in my career of playing, I started teaching myself how to read music. So. And, you know, write, not like write in the sense that I can write like a, a whole orchestra score, but I can write enough to write down what I need to remember, so. But, you know, I didn't get the formal training. I actually went to school for something altogether different. Tony's one of the most incredible musicians that I know, um, other than being one of my best friends. I mean, I love Tony because he listens. He's one of the only keyboard players that I know in the city that will listen to a song and Tony will hear every single part in the song. And if you give Tony three keyboards, he'll play every single part. You know, he'll hear the horns, the string lines, and can play it all. They ask where you from, and you tell them Detroit, they're like, oh man, I know you can play because you from Detroit. It's funny, I, I haven't spent this much time in Detroit. I, every time I come to Detroit, I'm here for like one day. The last time I spent this much time, in Detroit was when I was with Dilla, like for like two weeks I was here um, recording um, with Dilla for a Bilal project. But that was in like 2000, and that was two weeks, and all we did was go to Mongolian barbecue every day and ride around in his car <laughs> and hang out. And uh, so me and me and Brandon was reminiscing about Dilla and stuff because you know Brandon was real, real close to him and stuff. So it's so really it's just about the camaraderie and the brotherhood. You know, so that's what I'm doing. I'm redoing, you know, How Would She Know? It's an incredible song. And the only person that I heard playing on this was Robert Glasper. Like, nobody else could play this song the way that, you know, the way that he could play it. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be nice. I'm, I'm really excited about this song. It's surpassing what's going on right now in music and reaching for something different. And then at the same time, it's classic because you're embodying the, the older style of recording, you know, there wasn't a lot of pre-programmed sampling, you know, sequencing where the song is laid out in the computer and we're just doing this stuff. It's like we're sitting down and the song is basically we're playing everything out. The name of the record is 12. Um, and I won't really give away the concept on how I came up with 12 yet. Like we'll get to that in another video, but, but you know, the record is coming. 
I'm ready for the world to hear what's, you know, what's going on.